it is a wild story that a threat actor, a hacker, cyber criminal, bad actor, installed Huntress. Um, and for folks that don't know, <laughs> Huntress is an EDR, right? Endpoint detection and response managed security solution, a whole platform for our security operations center analysts and for people to dig in and investigate malware, uh, alerts, signals, all the things that will, you know, flag and prove and confirm malicious activity. And this bad actor, I think was looking for Bitdefender. And there's no secret here. A lot of bad actors or threat actors will experiment and try to test other security solutions or any different antivirus EDR thing so that they could see how well does their malware or their tooling perform. Does it work? Does it bypass? Can it fly under the radar? Uh, so they were looking for Bitdefender. And we even saw them look around at a couple others. I think Malwarebytes was in the mix a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and they come across Huntress and they install Huntress, which gives us a absolute goldmine of visibility in this threat actor and cyber crimes operations. Their tooling, their workflow, what they do for some AI, some Google Translate things here and there. It's just fascinating to see a lot of their toolkits, evil jinx, phishing setup, maybe some stealer logs with info stealer malware, blah, blah, blah. It's a wild story. And we could even dig into some of their routine. Like how often are they on keyboard? What are they working? What time do they put into this effort? And it, from us, from our perspective, Greg, I don't know. I think this is like, this is cool. This is neat. This yes. is wild, right? Yeah, I've worked at, a, this is my third EDR company that I've worked at. And um, I'll, I'll say, you know, at Silence and both at Silence and EI, we both had this kind of incident happen. And I think the important thing here is um, if an EDR company detects that you're committing crime, you're doing crimes and your, your OPSEC is not good, I think it's pretty pivotal for them to um, look at it and make sure that, you know, you're being detected and you're, you're developing counter uh, intelligence based off that. So yeah, both at Silence and, and EI, we had we had incidents similar to this, not quite as, um, not quite as like, the, we had like actors, you know, just install, try test some things and then uninstall. I think this this guy would just like let it go. And it was just like, man, going on his daily life, you know, continuing his crimes. So it's a, it's interesting. It's a very interesting uh, scenario that we came across. Well, if I may, I, I'd love to to touch on this because truthfully, we put this out and we're stoked about it. It's a wild, crazy story, incredible threat intel, kind of, oh, a deep dive, firsthand, front row seat view of what a threat actor is doing. But we've got some folks, understandably so, that kind of raise their hand and like, hang on, is, is this... Is this an invasion of privacy? Is this customer quote unquote info that you've just kind of now I don't know, shot out to the stratosphere? And genuinely, again, this is where I want your opinion. So please let us know in the chat. Let me know your hot take. But I think, I hope this is a huge testament for, okay, getting the education out there that this is what an EDR can do and does like this is no different from what crowdstrike has the access this is no different than what sentinel one could do this is what every endpoint detection response especially when you've got security operations center analysts that can dig into it and investigate the endpoint and we dug into this because there were defender alerts picking off. We'd seen this host name previously uh, in past intrusions. Uh, and there were a whole lot of red flags sounding alarm bells to, okay, let's go see what, are, what is the malware on this host and why. Uh, so I, I'd love to get your hot take, but I did want to share that explanation because I, a lot of folks were wondering and questioning on that. But that is what a security solution does. <laughs> Am I wrong on that, Greg? I don't know. Am I barking no, up the wrong tree? No, I think you're right. Um, I think, yeah, especially since we detected based off, you know, things they were, you know, actions that they are, we're not jumping into every machine and like going through it you know, systematically. We're not assuming that everyone's a threat, you know, bad actor. It's because we detected malicious behavior coming from that machine. And that's why we decided to act on and investigate. I think that's really important to, uh, factor of the story there too.